Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. Now I'm going to start a new topic in operations management subject. And the topic is inventory control and stores management. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about the basic, the meaning of the term inventory management. What do you mean by inventory? Secondly, importance of inventory in a business organization. Then inventory decision, inventory control. And what are the objectives of inventory control? Very often in examination, a theory question will be asked regarding this inventory. So after completing few video videos on this theoretical aspect, then we'll start the problem. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the theory videos as well from beginning till end. Because if you do not understand the theoretical concept, it will be difficult to understand the problems. All the problems are based on the theory explanation. So before proceeding ahead, take the screenshot of the points which I have written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, first of all, we'll discuss what do you mean by inventory? So inventory can be broadly defined as the stock of goods or commodities or any economic resources that are stored or reserved at any given period for future production or meeting future demand. So every business organization will keep some goods or some commodities or some economic resources which are used in production, which may be used in production in future or to meet the future demand. If the business is a trading organization, then it will keep the inventory so that we can be able to satisfy the demand of the customers. Similarly, inventory will be maintained by manufacturing organizations so that the goods are available as uh, when it is required for production. So inventory may include raw material waiting to be used in producing goods. So in a manufacturing organization, some raw material inventory will be kept in the stock so that whenever uh, it is required in production, the material are always available. That is called inventory of raw material. Semi-finished goods or goods in process, temporarily stored during production process. So another inventory is inventory of work in progress. Work in progress means the goods which are still under processing. That means the processing has not yet been completed. The semi-finished goods are called work in progress. So some inventory is in the form of raw material. Some inventory will be in the form of work in progress. Semi-finished goods, the goods which are under processing and uh, the finished goods awaiting shipment from the factory, wholesaler or retailer called finished goods. The goods which are completed and ready for shipment to the wholesaler or retailer. That means the goods are completed in all sense. Finished goods. This is called inventory of finished goods. So normally inventory consists of three items. That is inventory of raw material, inventory of work in progress and inventory of finished goods. So inventory is an essential part of any organization. It is, uh, I mean, uh, commonly seen that every business organization will maintain some amount of inventory. It's a very critical part of the asset. Now, every business or manufacturing organization, big or small, has to maintain some inventory, any form, whether it's a large organization or a small organization or a medium organization, Every business organization will maintain some sort of inventory. Now importance. So just now I have explained you about the meaning of the term inventory. Now importance. Imp uh, how inventory is important. It provides and maintains good customer service. Now it is. Business depends on the satisfaction of the needs of the customers. If a business is having sufficient inventory, then it can be able to satisfy the needs of customers. Whenever customer requires the goods or service, that means the goods are ready to satisfy the needs of the customer. 
Secondly, enable smooth flow of production through the production process. The production requires inventory of raw material. So production will be smooth only when raw material is available on time. That shows the importance of inventory. Otherwise, production will get hampered. The production will get interrupted. Thirdly, provides protection against uncertainties of demand and supply. In the market, always there is an uncertainty regarding the quantity demanded, regarding the quantity supply. So to meet that uncertainties of uh, future demand and future supply, we have to maintain sufficient inventory. Then various production operations can be performed economically. That means the production will not be stopped if there is continuous flow of material inventory. So if a business is having sufficient adequate inventory, then all the other resources can be economically used. Example, the labor can be economically used, the machinery, the other facilities can be economically used if we have sufficient inventory. Next one is ensure smooth, uh, reasonable utilization of equipment and labor. Just now I told you. If we have sufficient inventory, we can effectively utilize the equipment, the machinery, the labor. With purchase in bulk, discount can be availed. So when in inventory is purchased in bulk quantity, the suppliers may allow discount. So a business can be able to avail the discount if you purchase in bulk quantity. This shows the importance of inventory to a business organization. Now inventory decisions. Normally, two decisions are related to inventory. The first decision is how much to buy at a time. The material requirement should not be purchased entirely for the whole year. Or the inventory should not be purchased every month. Because there are costs involved in inventory. So we have to check how much to order at a time. So we have different techniques available to take the decision how much to order at a time and secondly when to replenish the inventory of that item replenish comes from reorder so when we have to make the reorder now again a techniques are available to answer this question when to replenish we have different levels maximum level minimum level reordering level average stock level safety stock level all these techniques we will make use in order to take the decision when to replenish and how much to order? We have the technique called EOQ, economic ordering quantity. Apart from this, number of other techniques are there in order to control the inventory, manage the inventory. Now, next concept is inventory control. So, what are the activities involved in inventory control? So, inventory control is a system of ordering based on the maintenance of the stock in a store using a reorder rule based on the stock level. That means this inventory control means taking a decision when to replenish the stock. When we have to make a reorder, reorder purchasing reorder. It is a technique of maintaining the size of the inventory at the uh, some desired level. That means inventory control is decision regarding how much inventory to be maintained at a desired level. So inventory control means keeping a track. The meaning of inventory control is tracking the inventory. That means always looking closely the movement of inventory. And uh, so that the items are available when they are needed. So always whenever inventory is needed, the item should be available. That is inventory control. And this is achieved by how this inventory control function will be performed, how it will be achieved. The, this is achieved by purchasing items at the economic price at a proper time and sufficient quantity. The purchasing should be made at the economic price. That means business has to see what are the different sources available through which we can be able to procure the inventory. What are the prices fixed by the supplier? So at what price we can get from which supplier to purchasing at an economical price and purchasing at the proper time whenever it is required then only it should be purchased and in sufficient quantity. So this is the I mean first objective to be achieved by inventory control. 
provision of suitable and secured storage location sufficient space the inventory which is purchased should be properly stored in the godown in the stores so that it should not be spoiled then inventory identification system some coding should be used because so many items are there in inventory so we have to give a code to each of the inventory item so that we can easily identify the item the next one is up to date and accurate record keeping by responsible staff normally a storekeeper is kept he will record he will maintain up to date records of the movement of inventory when the inventory is received how much is received how much is issued and what is the balance of inventory up to date records have to be kept and lastly appropriate requisition procedure so when the order should be placed it depends on the requisition the proper requisition method or system should be there through which only the inventory items should be purchased or issued now objectives of inventory control why this inventory control is needed in examination frequently they will ask the theory uh, question regarding what are the objectives of inventory control inventory control is a highly significant function not only because in inventory is constitute substantial portion of current asset see here in every organization current assets are there under the current asset the biggest current asset is inventory the significant part of the total current asset is inventory so when the value of inventory is more definitely the management the business should concentrate on this inventory now but also because it has to satisfy the following objectives not only that it it occupies a significant position in the current asset but also the other objectives of inventory control are to minimize the financial investment in inventory that means money should not be blocked to more in inventories because if more inventory is kept what will happen the interest charges will be more the carrying cost of inventory will be more that's why minimum investment should be made in inventory that means inventory should neither be less nor it should be more if the inventory is less there is always a possibility that the production will be stopped that we cannot be able to deliver the goods on time so sufficient inventory should be kept at the same time inventory should not be overloaded that means there should not be overstocking of inventory what will happen money will be blocked unnecessarily so minimum investment should be made in inventory the main objective of a system of inventory control is a manufacturing organization is to minimize the capital blocked in inventory remember idle funds will not generate any income but idle funds will incur cost so if unnecessary lot of money is invested in inventory the capital will be blocked we won't get any return on the blocked money in inventory that's why minimum investment should be made secondly to ensure that the value of metal consumed is minimum in the manufacturing organization the major part of cost of production is material so business should keep the material cost to the minimum in order to reduce the cost of production so in order to increase the profit the cost should be controlled in the total cost the significant part of the total cost is material only so management must control the material cost then only the cost of production will come down to for ensuring this objective there should be proper control over material from the time orders are placed uh, with suppliers still the material have been effectively utilized in production first of all material has to be purchased from the supplier then it has to be stored then it has to be utilized right then the material control should be at the time of purchasing the material till the time the material is consumed or used in production the metal has to be controlled in all the stages of production to maintain timely records of inventory of all items and to maintain the stock within the desired level one of the important objective of inventory control is timely keeping the record of the movement of inventory when the inventory has been purchased when it is issued what is the balance of inventory 
up to date information should be kept and so that the desired level of inventory should be maintained then to provide scientific base for short term and long range planning of inventory requirement a business has to make the planning short term planning and long term planning regarding inventory so if proper inventory control is kept then short term and long long term planning can be made next one to ensure timely action for replenishment replenishment means i mean purchasing the inventory which is finished that means whenever the inventory is over new inventory has to be purchased new goods have to be purchased the replenishment the time for replenishment then to protect the inventory is from pilferage theft waste loss damage etc if you do not keep proper control on inventory there are chances that inventory may be theft there will be spoilage there will be damage there will be loss to protect all these losses there should be proper control of inventory to standardize and centralize information of stock levels the stock level has to be fixed that means maximum level minimum level reorder level these levels should be different for different items of inventory so all these stock levels have to be fixed for every item of inventory next one is to meet the demand fluctuations the market demand will not always be constant the market demand and market supply will always fluctuate so to meet the fluctuations in demand and supply there should be proper control of inventory to reduce surplus stock if any surplus stock is there the st surplus stock should be kept at its minimum because unnecessary keeping surplus stock means the money is blocked and the profitability will come down next to allow flexibility in production scheduling as the market demand and market supply is uncertain there will be fluctuation similar is the case for production scheduling in production scheduling also there will be up and down sometimes more production sometimes less production so in production scheduling also there should be sufficient inventory to be maintained that's all so in this video i have explained you about the meaning of the term inventory then importance of inventory then inventory control and what are the objectives of inventory control the next topic inshallah i'll take up in the next video